I'm Josh Yarnell. Live here in Dodge City. I uh, own Quick Draw Oil Change, a consulting business, four kids, a boat. Oh, yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. He has a full 18 hole? Built a full 18 hole mini golf course in the backyard. Really just for our family to have fun. Yeah. One of the things we also wanted to do is like share it with our neighborhood and with other people in the community and people sign up and they can bring food and drinks and whatever. We have a Facebook page. I think it's like I Dodge City Mini Golf. Mini, you know what's really fun about that is that people think that you need a full establishment to start a business and you're occupying just your backyard. And but you yeah. can have fun with it. Yeah, Use yeah. your backspace, your backyard, or get creative with it. Yeah. And that's just one of the, the few businesses you own. How long have you been in business? Yeah, so you? I've had Quick Draw for 11 years. Uh, when we bought it, it was, it just was not good. And so we had to build the business up from the ground up. Okay. And not only just build new clientele, we had to overcome this like, it was just a terrible reputation they had because they oh, were okay. like ripping people off. It was dirty, it was gross. And I've worked for a lot of different corporations and all of that stuff taught me how to take care of people. So like, I also learned from them what not to do. Um, it's just not the same as like when Sam Walton was around, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's not, so, it definitely is. It? Yeah, so I took all of these different experiences I had in different jobs and, and applied them to my own business. Okay. Uh, what do you tell someone who's getting started? Well, in any business, the first thing you gotta look at is do people want what you're selling? Okay. And then after that, man, okay. like business is not, in my opinion, it isn't rocket science. Be honest, Yeah. okay? Sell a quality product. Okay. Take care of your people. Okay. That's it. 40 years old and I had 10 careers before I became a business owner for myself. And I wouldn't change it, you know? Like all of those failures and all of those, all of those life experiences brought me to right where I'm at right now today. We're also looking at like, like residential properties for Airbnbs. Okay. Um, we're actually looking at possibly building one, which is kind of cool. Local? In, or? in the downtown area. Nice. Yeah. So we're chasing that. And then um, kind of a dream that we've had in my family for a long time is opening a donut shop. And so, yeah, that's, that's in the works. We're working on that. We'd love to bring a brand new donut shop to Dodge City. Nice. You guys hear uh, that? Yeah. So we're working on that. It's, there's a lot of different challenges there, um, but you know, hopefully we're gonna be able to overcome the challenges and it'll be, a, it'll be our own mom and pop and uh, we'll be open till late in the afternoon. We'll have donuts all morning long and then some. It's not really to get rich by any means, but to be able to live comfortably and give it all away. You know, can't take anything with you. So if I can, if I can set my kids up for the future mm -hmm. and uh, teach them how to be successful yeah. in the businesses we built together. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's a dream for me. Like I said, if you want to know more about the donut shop or everything that this guy does, follow his um, social media. I'm going to leave it right here, maybe down below, right up here somewhere on the screen. So thank you. And like he says, man. What's up, beautiful people? Beautiful people, man. <laughs>